Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So this video is gonna be kind of a spring token guide, I guess. I'm gonna talk about all of the things that you can get with them, how to get with them, the fastest ways, all of that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as always and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. So the spring tokens are an exchange currency that we have during the spring festival, which is the equestrian festival in Star Stable and we can basically exchange spring tokens for many different things and anything from pets, vet care, clothing, tag, and other accessories, which is very nice. And we can get the spring tokens from doing many different activities. So first I thought that I would just go over what you can buy with them. So let's see. The first thing that you can get with spring tokens is vet care. If you just go over and talk with Hugo, you can purchase vet care for 10 spring tokens, which I think is actually a nice prize and this vet care basically makes your horse full in health or what is it now like happiness something like that so it's gonna be faster basically which is useful now especially since we're gonna be doing a lot of championships anyway my favorite part of this exchange thing during the festivals are definitely the free pets you can actually get quite a lot of them you can get these carrots for 40 spring tokens apples for 40 full care set for 40 and horse care set for 40 spring tokens so in this area you're going to spend 10 spring tokens on vet care and 160 for these pets but there's also a lot of other pets there's a few bouquets one of them is here and this one is 40 spring tokens but there are also two other ones which are 20 spring tokens each there's also a squirrel which is really expensive it costs 70 spring tokens and there's also two balloons which are also 70 spring token spring tokens each which i feel like is really overpriced for a balloon I, I think maybe 50 max should have been, but okay. So if you want to get all of the pets, you're going to have to spend 450 spring tokens, which is quite a lot if you ask me. But anyway, let's see how much you're going to spend on the outfits. There's five different outfit sets, but some of them are from the previous year. Those are the Bulldogs Jumping set and the Bobcat set, which both cost 245 spring tokens, so 490 in total if you want to get both of those. Those also include two bouquets that I mentioned before, and there's also sunglasses, which are kind of cool. But this year we got three new sets, those are the Golden Glory set, the Plum Prestige set, and the Premier Pink set. All of those cost 240 spring tokens, so 720 in total. And if we add up all of the set costs, you're gonna spend 1,210 spring tokens on those. And then if we combine this with the pets, you're gonna be spending 1,620 spring tokens in total if you want to purchase everything that is a part of the equestrian festival. Now, I'm not completely sure that this is the right number. I've also seen 1,460 and then also like a thousand, but I've counted everything. I, I don't know. I, I saw a lot of people not really uh, count all of the pets. But yeah, I think it's 1,620. I guess it's just something along those lines. And if you're wondering how many spring tokens you can get each day, it is either 58 or 56. I'm not completely sure, but it's one of those numbers. Should I have double checked? Yes. But anyway, we've talked enough about how we're going to spend all of the spring tokens. Let's just talk about how we're actually going to get them. So the fastest and the easiest way, I guess, is to just check if you have any spare or leftover spring tokens from the previous year. I don't have them because I didn't even participate, but just go check in the closet and see if you have any 
I think it's really important to, you know, when there's a festival going on, either the winter festival, the Halloween festival, the equestrian festival, if you ever have any leftover tokens, keep them in your closet, like never, I don't know, delete them, sell them. And if you don't actually want to get something, you don't have to because it might come back next year or if you know that you're never gonna wear it, I just don't recommend buying it because what SSO also did, I'm not sure if they did it with the clothing and tuck and everything from the equestrian festival, but for the Halloween festival, what they did is if you want to resell anything, you're basically gonna get nothing in return. You get 10, 20, 30, maybe 40 or shillings for a for an item so I just don't think it's worth it and that was for the items that you would get from the cauldron I think with the winter festival where you also had to purchase the items with your winter tokens I think you can like literally sell them for nothing like you get nothing in return so again just save them up don't buy things that you don't actually want to wear and enjoy them the next year. So the next way to get the spring tokens is the daily with Loretta and Jeannie called Express Yourself. The first thing that you're gonna want to do is obviously the mini quests that you get with them. I'm not completely sure how many spring tokens you get from quests in total. I completely forgot to count. I'm so sorry. But you get quite a lot of them. I got, I don't know, at least like 80, 90 spring, token, spring tokens from all of the quests. So make sure to do all of the quests, which is something that I'm gonna talk at the end. But yeah, with the Express Yourself Daily, you get four spring tokens. I recommend doing this one first because it's just a really quick daily. Like you just have to wear something of the color that Ginny and Loretta chose for that day. Yesterday it was pink. I didn't check what color it was today but again it just takes you like max one minute and you get four spring tokens the next way to get spring tokens is from doing the championships so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go over to the moorland area of the equestrian festival and talk with julie obviously the first time you're also gonna get the quest with julie but later on you're gonna get the daily with her and when you accept the daily and you complete it you get six spring tokens so the dailies with julie are you just basically have to do the championships so again just go over to julie talk with her and you know accept the daily then go to the championship that is happening at that time for example the Jorvik stables championship but what you're also going to want to do is talk to julie at that championship area so that you can get two bonus spring tokens and after you're done with the championship, talk with Julie at the championship area and also go to Julie at the Moorland area so that you get all of the spring tokens. So again, you get six spring tokens from the daily that you get with Julie, but you also get two spring tokens for each champ that you do, but you only do one champ per day. So you can't get four spring tokens from doing, you know, two Fort Pinta champs, but you can get, I don't know, six from doing the Fort Pinto one, the Pony, and then the Moorland, for example. Again, from the daily, you get six spring tokens, but from all of the champs, you get 18 in total. Then there's also races. There's quite a few races, which is really nice. All of them also give you a lot of horse XP, which is just amazing. So there's two races at the Moorland area. They're called Equestrian Festival Welcome Challenge, and you get four spring tokens for each race. And as you've probably noticed by now, there's quite a few races where you actually have to be in a group to actually complete them. If you don't have friends or if you don't have friends that are available at that time, I honestly just recommend standing in the area and asking people to add you in a group. There's a lot of people doing these races right now and it's a really easy way for you and them to actually complete it. Just make sure to be very polite and, you know, thank them for adding you and, you know, doing all of this together. And if you're lucky, you might meet some special people and make new friends. Anyway, so the races in Moorland give you eight spring tokens in total, but there's even more races. At the Jorvik Stables area of the Equestrian Festival, there's actually five more races there's the equestrian festival cross-country race and then the same race 
that you can do as a group. There's the Equestrian Festival Elite Cross Country Race, which again, you can do it alone and then in a group. And there's also the Equestrian Festival Show Jumping Race. And all of them give you four spring tokens. So in total, you can get 20 spring tokens from the races at the Jorvik Sables area, which is really nice. Honestly, I feel like races are a good way of getting them. And again, you can get a lot of horse XP. But of course, you can also get spring tokens from doing the quests. Again, I'm not completely sure how many you get, but you get a lot. So there is one main quest, which is the one with Linda and Dark Riders, Linda, Alex and the Dark Riders one dark rider i completely forgot her name but you get quite a lot of them so make sure to do that quest but at the end of the day it's not gonna run anywhere if you're not in the mood for it but you are going to be able to get anything that you want much quicker so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video as always and i'm gonna see you in my next one bye